I am home over lunch. Uh, it's a like balmy 59 or 60 degrees. It's very nice. And over the weekend, I had winds up to 45 and 50 mile per hour sustained for most of the day, which means that my greenhouse doors were damaged. So the screw for here, for up here, came out um, because of the wind. The polycarbonate is out of the runners. On the plus side, it's something that's fixable. On the downside, uh, I only have until Friday. I have until the end of this week to fix it because nighttime temperatures are going to dip back into freezing. So, is what it is. I live in a windy region. It's kind of, kind of the way it goes. So after work this week, I'm going to work on repairing the greenhouse doors. The other thing that's good in April for me is to assess what needs to be done. Uh, and that sounds like a very broad answer. If you think about it, I put it in the greenhouse. I didn't redo my irrigation lines yet. So one of the things that I needed to do is plot out where the main line irrigation is going to go. I have plenty of drip tape. I do need more main line irrigation. Uh, and I think I might get a second filter and um, pressure reducer so that I can have one entry point on this side of the greenhouse for the east garden beds. Um, so the herb circle, the potato beds, the kennel bed, as well as the greenhouse. And then I can do a second one for the main garden area. I have things in the greenhouse to harvest, some of which are going to flower like the bok choys. Um, I'll still eat the flowers. There's a couple of leeks in here that I'll use. I've got sprouting broccoli that I need to harvest before it goes to flower. I will probably do that today. April for me involves harvesting what I have, planting out seeds I've started that are still frost hardy, fixing my greenhouse doors, <laughs> obtaining irrigation, and I need to order my tubers. So I need to order ginger and turmeric. Um, and I'm debating not ordering potatoes or doing an entirely different variety for like size instead of flavor because I still have potatoes on the shelf that I haven't used yet. They're starting to sprout. I can plant those and that's great. But if I'm not eating all the potatoes, do I need to plant potatoes? I don't know, worth thinking about. I do want ginger and turmeric. All of those things are in the works for me this April. Uh, beginning of May is likely when I'm going to be starting to plant out in the ma main garden beds. And so that's also when I'm going to have to visit my compost setup. Uh, so April is really for me the last time where it's only going to be the greenhouse. Come May, it's going to be the greenhouse and the outside beds. So now it's kind of my time to just do any last minute, okay, you've got like three or four weeks and then it's gonna be a sprint. Welcome to Zone 4 Gardening. Anyway, that's the update that I have for you for April 2024. Uh, I'm gonna water these beds because I have to go back to work, uh, but thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you next time. Super big. And I have, oh, those are big chives. I feel like those got real big. But thanks for hanging out.